Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to tell you about the uh, uh, debugging steps. That is, uh, step into, step over, step out. Let us know what are those things in a live example. Uh, with this uh, console application we have taken. Normal, simple console application. First, let's see what is meant by step into. Step into is nothing but a uh, uh, debugging step which is uh, used uh, to now that executes the correct if it is the executing the correct statement then it stops at the next statement like if the current statement is a function or a script call then the debugger steps into a function or script otherwise or it stops at the next statement let's see this with an example here is the example which is step into i'm going to show you here i'm giving the breakpoint at the main phone main method here we have a breakpoint and we have one console write line uh, statement and where i am having one function called sum sum method is there sum method with two inputs two or integer inputs one comma two i have given uh, i am writing that in the console write line a uh, giving breakpoint at that main function running the particular function then you can see me uh, our, our uh, debugger is there within the line eighth line now i'm in going into step into which is f11 here also we can go and directly we can give f11 so what is this step into means if the current statement is a function or script call if there is any function in the particular line which we are running then what will happen then debugger steps into that function or script it will goes to that function definition or goes to that function if there is no such type of script call or function otherwise it go to the next statement here i am having the sum function so what that debugger do it goes to that particular method yes sum method with that integers our cursor is there next statement is that thing and it will return that inputs and it will be back to that call function okay it uh, it will go for the called function from the calling function the debugger will goes to the call function from the calling function so this is uh, we our output at last it will give the output that is sum is 3 a plus b we are taking after that hello world line so this is the one uh, step into a uh, example now everything is clear with this step into which is f10 f11 sorry next we have a step over the step over is nothing but when we execute the current statement then it stops at the next statement similarly it will stop at the next statement only but what means if the current statement is having any function or script then the, the debugger executes the whole function or script and it stops at the next statement after the function call like we can see step over means it will go to the next statement only if the next statement is having any script or function it will not go to that particular function like it is step over that is nothing but uh, it will don't go to the function definition but it will gives the returns the output and it will go to the next line of that particular line which is having a call function it doesn't the calling function doesn't go for the function value of uh, call function okay now you have a sum one comma two now the debugger is not going to the that sum method it is not coming to here it is not executing the steps in that thing it will not showing the debugger step by step it is just going to the next line of that particular uh, current line you can see now the closing uh, dash here we have our uh, debugger you can see here this is the example like it is not going to that uh, function function definition or script call in the current statement if you are having any function or definition then not go it's here you can see the output hello world 3 so everything is clear with this step over i think you can see debugger executes the whole function or script that it does it goes to the next statement not go to the entire step by step now we have a step out what is this step out means step out of a current function or up one level if the function is nested that is in the main body the script is executed at the end or the next big point the skipper statements are executed but not step put through i uh, what i want to tell you is uh in the step into what we have done uh, if you have current line is having any some function or something any fun, any method uh then it will go to the particular method if you want uh if you don't want to go all the throughout the steps which are present in that uh, function 
then you can uh, step out like if you don't want to go for the entire steps in that you can step out then it will goes to the function which is a call which is calling function like uh, from the called function it comes back to the calling function like that it come back to the calling uh, class method we say so here is the example you can see here here we have a, some hello world here is the output we can see here now now i am going to run show you once again here i am in that method what i am doing is now i am step into i am by firstly i am doing step into so i am in this current line where i having function uh, now I, uh, step into i have done another time i am coming to this function uh, some method where i have come what i have to do here means uh, i don't want to go through all these steps if here is only one step that is fine if the function is having some more steps i don't want to go all those steps then i am clicking on step over then it is back to that current function it is not going to uh, and uh, executing the and uh, showing that debugging of entire lines but step over means we can go back to the calling function from the called function this is called a step over if you don't want to go all throughout the method steps we can uh, choose this step over just want to know what the method it is calling then you go to that method don't want to go all the steps but you can see skip all the statements that are executed you can go back to the call function uh, calling function we can say so these things is called step into step over and step out first step into the shortcut is f11 first step over it is f10 and for uh, uh, step over we have uh, shift plus f11 so step into f11 shift 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 step out is the shift plus f11 that is if you want to go into that particular uh, method then f11 if you come out from that thing shift plus f11 that is clear step over is just go to the next statement uh, if, even if it is having any function call it doesn't go for that function definition so that is step over that is f10 so i think everything is clear with this uh, step into step over step out so while debugging these things will help you a lot to understand what is the current uh, flow of the your code or functioning you will know by using these things uh, it, there are two methods to perform these things one is manually we can go with the buttons which are present in the visual studio uh, we can also go with the shortcut keys which are f11 f10 and shift plus f11 that is debugging we can hope this video helpful to you uh, while debugging and to know these concepts i hope you are, these things are clear for you so that's all for today thanks for watching if you like this video give a big thumbs up below and subscribe to our channel for many more videos like this and click the bell icon below to get notified each time when we upload a new video